right, hello, welcome. And I'm going to show you the infrared camera. And I'm doing this all by myself. And you'll notice my shirt's all weird looking and that's not an accident. It's because I put a little bit of water on there. So look at that. You can see the water. So let me just tell you what this infrared camera does. So every object gives off radiation, it gives off electromagnetic radiation. The wavelength of that depends on the temperature. So most of the things around us that we see give off radiation in the infrared. This camera can detect that, although your eyes cannot detect that. Okay? So I am using a special camera. This one hooks up to your iPhone. They make a several different kinds. This one's a FLIR. Uh, it's a FLIR 1 Pro, I think it is. And it allows me to see things that you couldn't normally see. I can see all around me all this cool stuff. Okay? Let me show you a couple of other cool things. Uh, the first one is just something simple. And we're in my kitchen. I'm going to put my hand here on the counter. I'm going to hold it there for 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5. Look, the, this part of the countertop is warmer than the rest, and so you can see it in the infrared. In fact, you can even see my hand without even touching it. That's because infrared radiation from my hand, which is partially wet, uh, is reflecting off of that into the camera. So you're, you're really seeing the world in a completely different light. We're seeing things as they give off their own light. Normally we see things because they reflect light from the lights that we turn on in the room, but this is seeing everything makes its own light. Let me show you a great example with this. This is my um, oven. I forgot what it's called. If I open it up, and you can see inside, I already had it on, so it's hot. That element's hot. But if you look with the visible camera, you can't see it. But let me turn on the broiler, and let's let that go for a second. And what's gonna happen is, as it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, it starts glowing in the uh, visible spectrum and you can actually see it. You've all seen a red hot eye. Look how hot that is right now, it's pretty cool. Okay, And as it gets hotter, you'll notice you can detect more and more radiation on the camera. And the camera is actually doing the same thing that we can do with uh, visible light. I can determine the temperature of this based on its color, okay, if it's giving off heat. And so this camera is doing the same thing. It's using the infrared color to determine the temperature. Let's let that go for a second and see if we can go. I want to show you something else while it's doing that. Come over here. I have a fan. And what do you notice about that fan? Look up there. It's not cooling things off. It's making things hotter. The fan has an electric motor. It has electric current in it and current makes things hot. So the fan gets hot. Now it cools me off because what happens is it can get stuff like this that blowing air can get this water to evaporate, and when the water evaporates, it decreases in temperature. That's why this my wet shirt looks so cold. Okay, you can see if I was sweating. Am I sweating? No, I'm, I'm, I have warm armpits, but I'm not actually sweating. Okay, let's go over here and check. Oh yeah. Okay. So check that out. So now you can see that it's glowing. It's so hot that it's visibly glowing and infrared glowing. And that's exactly how this camera works. Everything glows. Everything glows. And just most of that stuff is in the infrared, so you wouldn't see it with your, with your normal eye. Okay, how about a couple more things? Check out this. It's a grocery bag, a plastic grocery bag. And you can see right through it. See right through it. Infrared goes through this, although visible light doesn't. So different wavelengths of light interact with matter differently. And that's pretty cool. Check this out. Here's something similar. I'm trying to go through a lot of these cool things so you can see. Here is a glass. So you'll see here that you can see me in the visible camera, but you can't see me in the infrared. And in fact, you can actually see the camera because the, the infrared, now I have my hand on this side, comes through uh, from the camera. The camera's hot and reflects off that infrared back to the camera. So you're actually seeing yourself. See my hand? I can see the reflection of my hand. Check that out. It's a, like a mirror in the infrared. Although in the visible light, it's like glass. Okay, should I, oh, I did need to show you one more thing. I didn't do this. This one's really cool too. I'm gonna show you two more things. Here is my hand on the counter again. Watch what happens if I rub. Look at that. Friction makes things get hot. My hand is getting hotter too. Check that out. One more thing, let's just look behind me. You see this right here? It's like, what's that thing on fire back there? Nothing. That's my rice cooker. I'm making rice for dinner. So 
it's hot. And over here, we have a little electronic device. I don't want to say its name because it knows who it is. And it's hot. All those things that you plug in, they get hot. Okay, so they, they're using up energy no, no matter what state they're in. Um, you could walk around and look at all the things that use, let's see, I'm trying to see anything else that's given off a lot. What's that? That's the oven. I already showed you that. Uh, heat, heat, heat. I think I was going to show you something else, but I think I'll stop. There's a lot more cool demos. Uh, one of the cool things you can do is go outside at night and look for things. During the day, I'll, I'll, take an, I'll make another video. And we'll go out at night and we'll walk around and see what we can see. Okay, that's enough for now.